So good morning, a Tech Edu Tips videos about photos and photos organization, but I'm gonna start with the Google takeout thing. So a lot of us have our photos in Google. Um, we've got our cameras or our phones configured to upload them. And so we've got a lot of photos in Google's and, and other services. So um, if you go to takeoutgoogle.com, um, this is an example, I just did this. And then I just choose select all and then unselect all and then go ahead and click on let's grab all my Google photos and and go ahead um, you're going to do the next step and you're going to just export it once you're going to say I want a zip file you might want to you know reduce this down to a gigabyte or two gigabytes or a smaller size it doesn't really matter what happens is if you've got a hundred gigs of photos you don't want to download a hundred gig file so you might want to chunk it down into smaller sizes, depending on your network speed. I use two gigabytes, um, and then I just downloaded four or five at a time because I have a, a pretty decent internet speed, but depends on your speed. You want to choose a different size. Probably zip, unless you're using Linux or something like me and you want a TGZ. And then you go and create the export. And it'll go ahead and, and create it. It'll send you an email to your email address of your Google account when it's ready. Um, look. It's ready. So this is actually my um, work institution account, which doesn't have any photos I'm using for the demo. So it was super fast. Um, and then I would just simply go to download and it would download. And I'm not gonna authenticate right now to show you that. Why would you wanna do this? Well, I think it's a good idea to have your photos locally. Now I've used a lot of different software over the years. I'm just silencing my phone here. Um, and Digicam is something I like. I'm gonna recommend it because it is available for different platforms. It is an open source software. It works really well. I've got it loaded up here. I've got 60,000 images in here. And actually a project I'm doing right now is going through my images, cleaning out stuff I don't need. Um, here's a photo from 2000. I, I actually kind of like this photo. I might, I might use this photo for different um, subjects of some Mennonites in Guadalajara downtown but this is a photo from 2000 and the image size is really really small you can even see that you know so it's a 1024 by 768 it's an old camera but this is 2000 and um, I'm actually doing an export of all my Google photos so that I can re-import them to Digicam and I'm gonna do some cleanup it has some really cool features I'll do some videos about Digicam and why I think it's useful um, choose your own um, I mean, photo software you might use something that's on your Mac you might use something that's on Windows that you like I've used Miley in the past and I really like it um, but I'm going with my own uh, local storage only solution the good thing about Digicam it is available for Linux Windows and Mac so it pretty well covers all the bases if anyone is watching this video and uh, I really like it it works well and um, I'll go through some other video posts about that. So that was basically going through takeoutgoogle.com to take out your photos. In the case of my personal account, it's huge, uh, it's massive, it's over 300 gigabytes of images and video, and, uh, and it takes me a long time to get it all down to be a large project for myself. It is daunting, um, but I do recommend uh, that you go through your photos, take some time, and, and they're really important and, and, and important to clean up. So that's the message for today about uh, archiving of photos. And if there's any requests, um, go ahead and hit the requests. Getting really close to the magic 1,000 number of subscribers. So if you do like this video, hit the like button. If you'd like to subscribe to see more videos, I record about education. I record about um, some gaming on Linux. I record about uh, just home stuff and networking and, and safety and security. I'm planning on doing some videos about that area. Put some comments below of things you'd like to see. And uh, thanks for watching and have an excellent day.